day one of my 40 day survival in the Siberian wasteland of cold and ice. I've got some tangled wire. A clothespin or whatever it's called. A small candle, one battery, some diaper pins, and a pretzel for nourishment. For these next 40 days, I'm gonna have to go through hell, a frozen hell, trying to survive with what I can gather from the land. It's gonna be a rough ride. Here in Siberia, the temperatures can get well below 100 degrees Celsius. Already, I'm beginning to feel the sting of such extreme temperatures. This is gonna be rough. It's gonna be really rough. Really rough. This is the 37th survival expedition that I've gone on. I've been in the recesses of Africa. Give me a second. Australia, Bermudan Triangle, but nothing prepare me for these 40 days here in Siberia. Oh, look! This is definitely Siberian hair tracks. I've got my wire. I'm gonna set up a little trap. And tonight, I eat hair flesh. Fine stick. Has to be a specific kind of stick seed, like, like a fork. Just like that one. This is perfect. This too. Now, go to the tracks. Place it right over. I set up my tangled wire. This is a sure, sure way of catching any. You have to make it real specific like. The next step is to take something like branches and you put it on the sides. Because animals go for the path of least resistance. In this case, right where my track is. Now that my trap is set, all I have to do is wait. It's been about two hours. Should be plenty of time. I'm gonna head over to my trap and see if I caught anything. Sure enough, works every time. Got myself some Siberian hair. Go try and make a fire somewhere. Cook this baby up. So now that I have my food, I've got to start a fire. The Siberian hare is known to carry disease, and if you don't cook it, you could be dead. All right. The Indians of North America and a method of starting fire where you take a larger stick and then rub a small one to cause friction. Hopefully, I'll be able to cause a spark which will be enough to catch this wood. Apparently, the wood is too wet to cause a fire. That means 
No rabbit for Dindin. I'm gonna have to find another source of nourishment. When you're out in the wild, food is going to be the first thing that comes to your mind. But the real danger in survival is the search for water. That's why I'm going to get as much as I can as I look for my little food. Out here in the wild, you have to look for anything that can give you some sort of nourishment. Bugs, maybe, maybe some worms. Oh, these are just what I'm looking for. Now, it's not on everyone's top to-do list to eat a worm alive. But out here in the wild, you don't have much choice. Got to keep moving. It's gonna be night, and I'll freeze to death. All right, now I have to find some sort of material to build a makeshift shelter for the night. Oh, <laughs> obviously, some very talented beavers chewed these logs. I can make a little log cabin out of these things for the night. Doesn't take much. You just start piling them one on top of the other. Oh shoot! Man, what? No, 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 it's it's okay. Just just, just keep rolling. No, no, it just the house. It's okay. You, no, you got the no, house. No, it was an accident. It's a slip up. I didn't. No, it, it's okay. No, no, That's please, it. please, please. No, no, That's stay, it. stay. I'm stay. Sick of it. No, no, no. We need you. Dude, I'm out in the freezing cold. No, try to pretend like I'm actually suffering, and you can't do as much as keep the stupid house out of the screen. That's it. I quit. I quit. I don't care how much money you pay me. This is it. I'm done. I'm done. No. Find someone else. No. Let's no. shroud. No. Bear grills. I don't care. No.